Let's move on to our first main topic today. Chris, what is our first main topic today? First main topic comes from Logan Tyson. Hello, John and crew. Love the show, by the way. I'm sure by now you know that The Lion King 2019 just surpassed Frozen as the highest grossing animated film of all time. Since they're most likely doing a sequel to Aladdin 2019, mainly because it made a billion dollars, what do you think are the chances for a sequel to The New Lion King? How are you feeling about this? Well, I mean, look, it's inter it's understandable why you, you would ask the question. First of all, it's throwing some people off because there are still a lot of people who think of Lion King and this is the live action Lion King. And this, again, is just a reminder. It's not live action. It's a completely animated film with a three second shot actually done with a camera. Now, the entire rest of it is completely animated. It is an animated film. Also causing some confusion was that there was a box office statistic released uh, this week saying that the Lion King is now the number one Disney live action mm. box office movie when, in fact, it is not live action. The more accurate record that it just broke is the fact that Lion King is now the number one all time animated film surpassing Frozen. Now, it's kind of funny when you look at the list of this. So the number five all time animated film, which was the number one for a little while, Toy Story 3 at one point zero six billion dollars. Minions, which everybody forgets how big of a hit that was. I didn't even like the movie that much, mm -hmm. but it was a huge hit at $1.16 billion. The Incredibles 2, which I adore almost as much as the original Incredibles, made $1.24 billion. Frozen, of course, was the number one animated film of all time at $1.27 billion. The Lion King itself is now the number one all-time animated film at $1.34 billion and climbing. So, getting to the question... If we're talking about, we talked about on yesterday's show that the producer of Aladdin is already saying they're already working on Aladdin 2. So that's going to happen. We're going to get an Aladdin 2. So if Aladdin can come out and make $1.1 billion or whatever, that spur, with that success, it spurred them to want to make another one. Can we assume at this point then that Lion King will also come out and do a sequel? I'm going to suggest no. I don't think they will. And I think there's a couple of reasons, Aaron, why, why I see a difference here. Number one, when you looked at Aladdin, and Chris and I talked about this on yesterday's show, when you look at Aladdin, and I won't give away any spoilers, but the ending of Aladdin is changed from the original animated film in such a way that it makes it a lot easier and opens a door to go in and do another one. And actually, when I saw it for the first time, I thought, they're already they're clearly already thinking about doing another one with the way that one ended that was different from the animated film. Lion King to me, though, despite the fact that they did do some straight to home video stuff with Scar's kid and whatever, it's always really hit me as this is a true standalone story. And with the way they did this Lion King 2019, which you saw with me, Aaron, I did. Um, I felt that exact same thing. This was a beginning, middle, and end story, closed chapter, done. And I think they're going to move on from it. And look, I don't think. Disney is surprised by the success of Lion King. If anything, I think if the reviews had been better and if the audience reception had been better, if it had been at least as high as I liked it, I think this movie could have been a $2 billion film fairly easily. But I don't think Disney surprised at all by the success here. I think $1.3 billion is exactly probably was maybe the low part of what they thought this movie was going to come in at. Unlike Aladdin, which I don't think anybody on their best day at Disney thought Aladdin would be a billion dollar film. So it gets that, it gives that extra hump. So I'm thinking no, no sequel for Lion King despite a success. I'm thinking no. Aaron, what do you think? Okay, so I've said it before that I, I don't think that they should do a second Lion King. I didn't think that they would do a second Lion King. At the same time, you know, just as well as I do, money talks. Mm. And if they can figure out a way to make it profitable, they're going to try. I guarantee you there's people back there going, okay, what could be a story that we could have as a follow-up? What are the potential ideas? Um, and I don't know what that is because, I mean, I think you said on a previous episode that we were talking, like, what are we what are we doing? Like, oh, here's Simba as a teenager, like, you know, <laughs> with pimples and braces. Nobody wants to watch that. I don't know what that story is and probably is one of the reasons why I'm not in development at Disney. However, um, I'm just going to go on record as saying I don't think it's a good idea. I may regret that. And I really hope that I do. Nothing would make me happier than if a Lion King sequel came out and it was bigger and better with more incredible songs and inc amazing cameos. 
I would actually love that. I just don't see it happening. And I agree with you. The way that the story was structured was following the original and it had and it had a very clear end point without leaving any cliffhangers to make the audience go, mm. oh, I really <laughs> wonder what happened to so-and-so. So right. I'm going to say no, but I've been proven wrong before and it might happen again. It's all about the money. Well, guys, question is, what do you think about that? I mean, if they're going to do a sequel to Aladdin, do you think it only stands to reason they'll do a sequel to Lion King? Or do you think like I do and that, no, I really don't think they are, and they're not surprised by the box office success of Lion King at all? Jump down to the comments section below and let us know what you think. Okay.